Gitbug tutorial how to use Gitbug step by step. Hey guys, welcome to this Gitbug tutorial in which I'll show you how Gitbug makes it easy to plan, centralize and share knowledge from start to ship. So let's get into it. First, what you have to do is you'll simply go to gitbug.com and you will land on this website right here. Gitbook allows you to build a culture of transparency and documentations. With Gitbook, you can engage with your team. You will be able to create a source of truth and much more. So let's actually get started with our platform. For that, you're going to simply click on start for free and you can create your account using your email address or using Google account. So after the initial sign up, you can see right here, we have to create an organization. So for this, you choose an organization name and then you can uh, select what are you using Gitbook for. This is where you'll select if you want to design system, notes, open source documents, product documents, knowledge base and others. So I will be using it for design system. Now we will click on continue. Then we can invite some team members and there you go. You have your own Gitbook dashboard ready for you. Now I'll show you how you create a space here and this platform helps you collaborate and organize your work really easily. You can also use Gitbook with GitHub and you can sign up using GitHub account uh, for this platform. So once your organization is created, you can see at the top, I can create more than one organizations here. So for me, I will be working with one. You select the organization first and within the organization, you can create different spaces so let's create a new space you hit new space and you can see we have an untitled space ready let's change the name first so i will be clicking on these three dots and then we can simply uh, change the information and enter the title so i will be calling it test one now this is my space name so once your space is ready, now you can see we have different pages. We can customize our space. We have insights, integrations. At the top here, we have configure, share, and some of the more options. At the bottom here, we have this plus button, which is add new, and it's a quick access to new space, new collection, and import content. So within my uh, space, I will be creating a new page. So you hit new page and it opens up like this. So within your page, what I will do is I will call it, let's say test again. I will call it test page. Now we have the page description. So this one is for designing. So I will just simply type in here, enter your content here. Now, this is where you will be entering your commands. This is where you will be entering your commands. You can paste links here or embed content. So uh, we can also use a template. So I will be working with a template. Hit use a template and it opens up the template center for us. Here we have the product documents, RFCs, API documents, daily planning and design system. So I will be going to design system here. Okay, this one looks pretty good. So we have getting started, design principles, colors, buttons and inputs. So what I'll do is I'll go with getting started here and click on use this template. So this will save a lot of time. This includes tabs, code, and much more. So once I have selected the template, now you can see we have our introduction, identity, components, a very good and thorough template. So with Gitbook, you will be getting the templates that will help you save a lot of time and you will be able to get started in no time. So here we have the getting started. What I will do is I'll just simply add, you know, I can change the name here and page description. So in page description, just for the sake of, so uh, for the purpose of the video, I'll just go with test two here. Then we have welcome, uh, a design system. This is where I can enter the link. Then we have our design principles and this opens up this whole uh you know pages different pages are added into it now this space is actually really good i will customize the text now adding a text customizing text is really easy you just uh, you know select the text from here and now i can just remove it and type whatever i want to uh, similarly if i want to customize it so you click on customize and this is where i can customize 
completely my uh, space. Uh, here I can customize the title and icon. I can uh, customize the themes. I can customize the styling, modes, everything. So uh, we also go to integrations here. Uh, when it comes to integrations with Gitbook, you will be able to add Google Analytics and Intercom into your space. We can also share our space and we can get a social preview. You can upload an image to customize your content's social media preview. When it comes to the layout, again, it's all in customization and kind of like the branding of the space. So this is where you will add all of the information. Once your customization is done, this is what it will look like. Again, I'll actually click on integrations here to show you because integrations are an important part of Gitbook. In all integrations, we have Google Analytics, uh, Figma, GitHub Files, Arcade, Slack, Discord, uh, MailChimp, then Fathom. A lot of platforms are available and you can even add some private integrations and you can install the integrations too and you can even search by category. So uh, these are all of the different integrations available. Once your space, once your page is ready, you have done everything, we can even like add different elements into it. So you just hit this plus button here and you can add a new page anytime you want to. To delete a page, you can click on these three dots, click on delete and a page is delete it so this way you will be able to create uh, you know designs you will be able to create uh plannings everything you want to for your uh you know system design for your apps anything you are creating then we have the insight option what is insight with insight you will be able to see these spaces and you will be able to see the searches and results you can find traffic here and you can also find the traffic for each page so this is actually pretty good that I don't even have to add Google Analytics if I want to because we already have an insight option. But for better insights, you can add integrations, but this option is available. Similarly, I can uh, just switch to my spaces here. As I showed you, we can create different spaces in different organizations. So this is our first space, which is getting started. So I'll go to my second space here. You can see it's empty. And this time, maybe I can click on use a template and we can go for API docs. This template will show you and advise others on how to get up and running with your API. So with this, you have different sections included, such as the basics, creating objects, first task and help table. Then there is the meeting notes. This one is actually easy. I will go to the R. FCs. So this process is intended to provide a consistent and controlled path for changes. Uh, this one you can see again, it has two pages. This template is also pretty good. So with Gitbook, you can create a space for you, your team and others uh, to get all the information you need in order to run APIs, in order to create and design themes, data, and much, much more. So you can even create collections here. You can see we have new collection and import content. Importing and exporting content is also really easy. So you can go ahead and get started with Gitbook right now. It's very easy. I hope this video was value to you and now you know how to use Gitbook as a complete beginner. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below, turn on bell notification, and subscribe to YouTube channel.